All right, so this video is getting into arithmetic series. So remember we introduced a new way in arithmetic series to write these series, and we called that summation notation. Now, the difference between series and sequences is sequences just deals with specific terms of the pattern. Series adds up all the terms together. So, remember we have the E, the big E, which is the Greek letter sigma. So, so we have the sigma and we need the lower and upper limits. And remember the lower and upper limits go below and above that sigma. So usually I like to start with one, n equals one. And so if we do that, we go from one, two, three, four, five, six. So my upper limit here is six. And now we need the formula. So remember, we need three things, the lower upper limits and the explicit formula. Now we reviewed how to cover the or to write the explicit formula in an earlier video. So I'm going to do this somewhat quickly. And if you notice, all I'm doing is adding three to get each next term. So I have a sub n is equal to the initial term two plus n minus one times three. And if I simplify that, I'll get three n minus one. And that is my explicit formula. And so there we have it. I have just written this arithmetic series in summation notation. And now, let's say I want to find the sum of all these. Well, you obviously you could write in your calculator 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 11 plus 14 plus 17. But what if this was a series that had a hundred different terms in it? You wouldn't want to sit there and add all those up in your calculator. So we have a formula for that. Remember the formula to find the sum of an arithmetic series is n divided by 2. Remember we take the lower half of that series and we pair it up with the upper half and then we add the first term plus the last term. And so this is the formula. So we need to know what the first term and the last term are. So let's look at this. We have n is 6. So we have 6 divided by 2. The first term is 2. The last term is 17. And so we have 3 times 19, that'd be 57. So the sum of these six terms is 57. Now, let's say you were just given the formula and you didn't know how many terms or you didn't know um, what the first and last terms were, I'm sorry. So let's say we start from one and we go to 50. And we have the sequence 2n plus three. How would we do that? Now to, to find the sum, so here we're wanting to find the sum. And so remember the sum is gonna be s sub n is equal to n over two times a sub one plus a sub n. Well, let's write out what we need. We have the n, we have the first term, and we have the last term. Well, we know n. n goes from 1 to 50, so there's 50 terms in there. The first term, well, how would we find the first term? Well, remember, this is the explicit formula. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have written x, I should have just written n. Same thing, doesn't matter, it's just a variable. But, to find the first term, I just replace that n with the lower limit. Since the lower limit's 1, I just replace n with 1, and I work it out. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5. And then I go to the upper limit to find my a sub 50, a sub n. So I replace n with 50, add times it by 2, and add 3. That's going to give me 103. And now I just use this formula. <coughs> Excuse me, use the formula. So I have 50 over 2 times the first term, 5, plus the last term, 103. and simplify that. So I have 25 times 108. So 25 times 100, that's going to be 2,500. 25 times 8, that's 200. So that would be 2,700. And there you go. That is working with mat or arithmetic series. Boom.